Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. So before we get into this video, I just wanted to say that this video is going to be a party prep slash clean up after video. I decided to combine both of those videos into one because I am such a poopy YouTuber that I did not film hardly anything from the Halloween party and I am kicking myself so much right now. I hate that I didn't film anything honestly it was so busy and hectic and crazy there was so much going on I barely had time to talk to all of the guests because there was just so much and forget even picking up the camera I do want to say that we decided to put this on more with Moro since it is mainly party prep and cleaning and there will be no vlog of it on the main channel but if you do want to see some glimpses definitely go check out my sister's youtube channel Alyssa Sills she does film some from the Halloween party anyways I don't want to make this a super long intro I just want to say I'm sorry I hope you guys forgive me and I definitely need to get better at picking up the camera I know and I'm definitely going to work on it regardless I do hope you guys enjoy this video definitely let me know if you would like to see more party prep in the future Thank you guys so much for watching and we love you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to today's vlog. Today is going to be a party preparation vlog. Party preparation and party vlog. Party vlog, Halloween party vlog. So it is the night before. We haven't gotten anything done yet. We haven't decorated. Zero. So we are going to start doing that tonight and start on jello shots. We're gonna be putting jello shots and syringes. And we're going super to be awesome. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. And we are also going to be doing um, blood bags. Blood bags. So, you know, like the IV, like, bags that they use for transfusions. Got some of those. But some, I don't think they're real. <laughs> I don't think they're the like, syringes are like, real either. <laughs> they're like knockoffs. Yeah, they're, like not, they're not the real <laughs> thing. But since it's a Halloween theme party, we're just going to be using that stuff just to make it. And we decided, cool. like, very early on in this Halloween party that we were going to go all out and for like wanting to go all out we don't have anything set up so yeah much. and for wanting to go all out on a halloween party we have zero things set up and our party is tomorrow till now till i guess technically 5 p.m tomorrow so i also have to go get dry ice mm -hmm. cut the grass mm -hmm. fill in a tree hole pressure but wash. pressure wash as well and that is just we the need to you know what we need to do we need to pry prioritize that list so what's most important to least important as long as we get the top things that are most important done it's then okay. we're done. so yeah. definitely getting the dry ice pressure washing pressure washing and filling the hole because we definitely yeah. will we definitely we need, need that, that for the that should be like, house yeah. that needs to be number one and then yeah so that house. should be like number one and then dry mm -hmm. ice number two because yes. what we were planning on doing i'm going to flip the camera around real quick and show you was but, putting it didn't we say putting it in the sink and letting it flow over the sink and also putting it yes. in punch not directly in the punch but i'll like, show you guys so Sorry, it's going to be like a bowl inside of a bowl and yes it's going punch. to be like flowing over as well yes. as like the sink and a couple of other places. We should do that for the syringes and the and the blood bags. Like we should yes. put it in the bowl and then and have then the bigger it bowl underneath it with the. Yeah, that's a great idea. But I am so excited to get ready to throw this party and to have all of our friends over. So over here we have our big box of Halloween stuff. It's filled all the way to the top, and we got to figure out what we're doing with all of it. First things first is Jello shots yes, because. They that needs to set up yes. overnight. So can I just like... You know what we should do? We should clear off this table right here and just put everything on there. Alright guys, so we got everything out for these blood bags. What you're going to need is some, I can't really show it, can I? Yeah, you can. Holy sh... Look at your sister. Oh my god! You know who she looks like? Who? Marilyn Monroe. 
So you're gonna need five cups of cranberry, three cups of pineapple, three cups of lemon lime soda, and then we don't know how much alcohol to put, so we're it's just gonna- It's a guessing game. I guess we'll just like taste it as we go to see. I said that I would be the tester. Okay, that's funny. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need a lot more. All right guys, so I wanted to share with you the Jello shot recipe that I use for my syringe shots, which they came out amazing and the guests really like them. So I think you guys will too if you guys wanna use them for parties. I do wanna say you have to be 21 or of legal drinking age. I just have to put that out there. But what you'll need is two packets of Jello or you could use a big box of Jello like you guys see that I'm using. That will equal out to two packets. Two cups of boiling water one one fourth a cup of cold water and then three fourths a cup of alcohol whatever kind you like i can't even remember now what mixture i use i think i use the pineapple malibu rum with the blue raspberry i don't know honestly i think any mixture or variety would it be delicious so first things first is you're going to boil two cups of water and pour that over the two packets of jello mix or the big packet and you're just going to stir slowly and continuously for two to three minutes and then after you're done stirring for three minutes you're going to add your one one fourth a cup of cold water and your three fourths a cup of alcohol or if you want a little bit stronger go ahead and add a cup and then you're going to stir that for 30 seconds have your syringes ready and start filling them by just sucking them up in the syringe I also suggest to stir the jello mix every once in a while so the alcohol and the jello don't separate and then I just put them in the fridge to set overnight I do want to add really quickly that all of the decorations well I should say maybe 90% of the decorations that you guys are gonna see throughout this video are from Amazon so I just want to add this in here really quickly because you guys are probably wondering why we had to take out a tree in our backyard because I know we talked about it a little bit in the beginning of this video. So originally, actually you can see it in this clip right here, but if you look to the left, you see how our neighbor's tree is up on the hill? That's where our trees were originally supposed to be, but since we were the first one on that side or that lot, I guess you could say, they... Put the trees in the middle of the yard and it's actually taken up a little bit of our yard space so originally before we even planned this bouncy house or this halloween party we were gonna take out the trees just so we have some more space in the backyard and replant them so they were gonna come out anyways and to be able to fit the bouncy house we had to take out one of the trees and it just kind of worked out that way so now for future parties if we want to rent a bouncy house we'll have that space for it so after filming all of this preparation and getting ready for the Halloween party, it really got me thinking I really would love to make more videos like this, like preparing for a party and sharing with you guys all my tips and tricks. And one of those things is my balloon arches. I love having the balloon arches for like the kids' birthday parties. I wanted to have it for the Halloween party. I just think it makes like a great like statement I don't even know accent to the party I don't know it just I love making them and I think they're really great for parties so I wanted to share with you guys how I make mine you don't have to get a kit I mean you can if you want to but you'll basically just need whatever balloon colors you want I would say probably around 50 balloons I suggest definitely getting a electric balloon blower that you guys saw me and Frank doing earlier it is very time consuming it does take a lot of time but the electric balloon blower definitely helps so on top of the balloons and the balloon blower of course you're going to need balloon garland or balloon arch decorating tape it's not actually tape it's pretty much just one long plastic strip you guys can see in this video with holes in it to stick the ends of the balloon through them and 
that is basically, I mean, like I said, it is time consuming, but that's basically all that is to the balloon garland. Now I do use command strips. You guys can see my sister is helping me put the balloon garland up because it is a little bit awkward trying to get it up there. But as long as you have command strips, you can hook the balloon tape or the decorating tape on there. And then if you have string where sometimes in the corner, it's hard to secure it. You can just tie some string around it and then put that on the command hook. And then you can just add however many balloons you need at the bottom or you can position it however you want to. All right guys, so I also wanted to include some of the party food prep. I didn't get to show like the main food. This is mainly just the treats. So one of the ideas that I actually saw on Pinterest was to add vampire teeth inside of the donuts. And as you can see, that did not work out as I planned. I think the teeth were a little too big, so they kept separating apart and separating the donut. So it's definitely a cute idea for Halloween, but I think I'll do it a little bit differently if I decide to do that again. And also we did get the dry eyes, so we were able to play around with that a little bit and put it around different places. You do have to be careful because it can't touch your skin, so make sure you do have gloves while handling it, but that was also really fun. We even put it in that little bowl back here that you guys see in this clip. And then I was so set on doing a candy and cheese board. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you guys saw pictures of that. But I got this inspiration from my good friend Keely. She does amazing, amazing cheese boards and food platters. And you guys definitely need to go check her out. Um, her Instagram is Keely Rainbow, and she also has an Instagram page. But I got a lot of inspiration from her. And this is how my candy board turned out. I just got a whole bunch of different candies from Home Goods and Target, and it was very fun to do. And the kids absolutely loved it. They just came by. This is kind of like our treat table, so they kind of came by and picked, you know, some candies. So that was also really fun. I wish I would have gotten a time lapse of me doing the cheese board, but it was just so crazy and hectic and busy and I really hope you guys understand. Okay, so I have not been able to vlog at all because we have just been go, 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 go and decorating, but now it's time to start getting ready and put our costumes on. We are doing a family themed costume. Oh yes, I still need to wash my tanner off. And we are going to be the Scooby gang. So we have me as Daphne, Frank as Fred, and then Ari as Velma, Nolan as Shaggy, Scarlet, Scooby-Doo, Harlow's gonna be a ghost, and then Luna is the mystery machine. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and start putting on our costume. Just like that, the party was over. It seems like, you know, setting up for a party and getting ready for it takes forever. And then the actual party is so much fun and goes by so fast. And then you're just left with the aftermath, which I do want to give a shout out to my neighbors and friends and my sister and family that helps clean after the party. So the night of, but of course I know I wouldn't expect them to clean everything. So this was what was left over. And honestly, they did clean up a lot a ton this took me about a couple hours to do i will say you know the balloon garland and balloons are so much fun for parties but then you're just left to pop them and it's honestly really sad like i wish i could find something better to do with them because you know just having to pop them after just makes me really sad especially all that hard work and i kind of look like a psychopath right now just stabbing all of them but that's the best way that you know i was able to get rid of them is just pop them all and throw them away i just grabbed a trash bag and just started throwing a whole bunch of trash into it and just picking up as much stuff as i can i put all of the halloween decorations on the table and we actually ended up getting big bins to store all our decorations that way we can have a halloween party next year and be able to to reuse all of our decorations and I'll actually film it this time unlike this time I'm still kicking myself for that
So the next thing that I am working on is the living room, just picking up random things that are on the couch. And you know, since the living room is like our main seating area, especially when we have guests over and you know, we're having food, of course, crumbs and all kinds of stuff are getting in the couch. So I am just vacuuming the couch. We actually didn't get to carpet clean, or I shouldn't say carpet clean because it's a couch, but we didn't get to use our carpet cleaner on the couch like we wanted to. We wanted to be able to do that before the party so people didn't think that our couch is disgusting. But like I said, unfortunately we weren't able to, so we're just gonna have to do that soon. <laughs> Definitely let me know in the comments down below if your island is also your throw all place because that is where it seems like a lot of stuff, most of our stuff accumulates is on our island as everything gets thrown on there. So I think the majority of the mess was on the island. So anyways, just enjoy this time lapse, the satisfying time lapse of me clearing everything off. I wanted to mention really quickly that these drink dispensers, I actually got two of these on Amazon, are great for parties. I also use them for the kids party. So usually I'll put one with water and then the other one like a punch for the kids or something like that. And they're just great and they're also very easy to clean out. So we meant to show this to you guys before but we also put like fake cobwebs and like different Halloween decorations on the light fixtures on the cabinets also we did have caution tape and we stuck that everywhere I would definitely suggest getting like little sticky tape I don't know the name for it but it's little dots like little sticky dots that you can stick on surfaces and be able to put the tape on there like the caution tape or the cobwebs which is what we did for most of our Halloween decorations now I'm just wiping down the chair and everything we also take these chairs from the table and kind of put them on the back side of the couch for extra seating so I'm just wiping and cleaning those off And of course, last but not least is the floors. That was probably the <coughs> dirtiest. <laughs> Scarlett just woke up from a nap. But that was probably the dirtiest of everything from the party. But you know what? I've learned that even though the house is a mess afterwards and you know, there's stuff everywhere and it's crazy, it's stressful, it's hectic and busy. It is so much fun having these kind of parties with your family and friends. And Frank and I talked about 
having a Halloween tradition now that we are going to throw a Halloween party every single year. And like I mentioned before, I will definitely vlog it this time. It's just, it was madness. It was so crazy. But you know what? I've come to realize that I absolutely love party planning, the whole process, even though it is stressful, but I do enjoy it. I enjoy picking out things, having a theme, coming up with different ideas, bouncing off, you know, inspiration from others and just, you know, the whole process is so much fun and I realized that I really, really enjoy it. And like I asked you guys before, definitely let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this. I get into this cycle of not picking up the camera, picking up the camera and I really just need to film whenever. I get as much footage as I can instead of worrying about other things, which was what I was doing when I was getting ready for the party and not filming because I wanna be able to document it for myself and for you guys as well. So I just wanna say thank you for everyone that does understand that I'm sorry and I promise that it will not happen again from here on out. I am documenting parties and filming it because this one was so much fun and I wish I could have shown you more. But anyways, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We love you guys and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys. Thank you.